The Humane Society of Sedona is located on Shelby Drive in Sedona. Open daily from 10 to 4, they offer adoptable dogs, cats, and rabbits too. This Humane Society will host up to 1,000 animals a year. Volunteers are always needed in local rescues and animal shelters. Ask to speak with the volunteer coordinator. Visit the Humane Society of Sedona online or in person for more information about adopting a new pet. This, ladies and gentlemen, is our drop-dead gorgeous Django. He's not, I don't know if he's named after the movie or not, but he is a lovely, lovely dog. We got him on February 4th as a stray. We think he's about four years old. He's a male healer, and he's got the sweetest personality. He really is. He loves all people, and he loves to be petted. He's very playful. When you walk him, he's a very, very easy walk. And he loves going out. He doesn't pull on his leash. And he um, really is uh, not at all showing any aggression towards other dogs. Dogs would have to be introduced to him, but he doesn't seem to mind other dogs. So he could be a, another companion for a dog. Uh, he probably would be good with older children, just because he's young and energetic and we want little ones knocked over. Uh, cats would probably have to be introduced. Some healers are okay, some are not, so that would need to be tested out. And he, um, he'd be great in a, in a family. He'd also be good with an, an, uh, a couple. Um, he would need to be exercised because healers do like to run around and he is young so he would need some exercise, a fence yard, or if we found out that he could get on he could even go to a dog park. But he, um, he's, he's one of the favorites of the shelter because he is so sweet and lovable. So we're just hoping he gets a really, really good home and he can sit and he can also lie down. And we think he's potty trained because his kennel is very clean every morning. So we're hoping that somebody loves him and comes and takes him home for his forever home. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we have Cash. Cash is one of our youngsters in the shelter. He came to us in the middle of January as a stray at about four months old. So he's just about a little over five months old now, we think. And he's a probably a Staffordshire Terrier lab mix of some kind, but a real puppy. And you can tell from these paws that he is going to be one big fella. But he's not got a mean bone in his body. He's very, very sweet. He's been kenneled with a number of different dogs, and he's gotten along with them. And as you'd expect, a five-year-old, a five-month-old, he's just... Uh, you know, a dog that needs some training because he's probably, you know, as I said, not potty trained because he's a pup, um, but he's just super affectionate and he rolls on his back and he loves to be petted. He's actually an easy walk. Um, we had him in a kennel with another youngster and they were like crazy together and running around in the courtyard, but we took him over to an off-site adoption event at PetSmart this weekend and he was the perfect gentleman in the store. The only thing he tried to do was steal some of the toys that were on the lower level, but he would be a, a an absolutely fabulous uh, family dog. Um, at this age, you know, you could introduce him to other dogs, and they would just be playing. and uh, And cats, even probably at this age, he would he would just maybe want to chase. But given that they could hold their own, that would be fine. So he would just be a lovely, lovely young dog for any family or for any adult or couple or anybody. We just we just love him. He's just very, very sweet.
So this is one of our beauties. Her name is Lila. And as you can see, she's a boxer, female boxer. She's only been with us less than a couple of weeks um, and came to us um, as a stray. She is very good with big dogs. She's actually in a kennel right now with two large male dogs and she gets along really well with them. She's about three years old, so she still has a lot of energy in her. And she can pull a little bit on her walk when she's on her harness. Um, she's very alert. She doesn't miss a trick. Um, likes to play and run around and uh, would be probably great in a family and as I said could be with other dogs as long as they weren't little dogs. She was recently adopted with another boxer and a little dog and got along famously with the boxer but did not get along with the little dog so we know that and as I said she's in with two big dogs so she, we know she gets along with big dogs. Cats probably would not be a good idea either. Boxers tend to not get on well with, with cats. Um, she could, um, we think she's potty trained. The kennel is, uh, is pretty clean and uh, it's hard to tell with three dogs in there, but she's, uh, she's just a very, very sweet girl, but she is energetic. So she's gonna need to have some walks or some run around time in a yard, uh, playing ball or something like that. But uh, obviously would, would make a gorgeous addition to any home. So we're hoping somebody comes to take a look at her. This is Luella. She's a female boxer terrier mix, brown and white. Actually, she's very high energy, very playful, loves to run, loves to walk, and would be great in pretty much any sort of family home. Probably not with young children because um, she could knock them over because she's, you know, she has very excitable moments. Probably better without cats as well. Cats are prefer a slightly more sedate sedate animal she is very very um, energetic but as you can see she really really relaxes and uh, she can be um, just very very calm and sweet when she's finished exercising she's been out today for probably about 30 minutes walk so that's really calmed her down and possibly also to the park we have a dog park here where they let them just run wild and exercise so she's a young girl, 18 months old, and um, yeah, she will make a, a great family pet. This is Alamo. He is a pointer mix. He's about one year old and he came to us as a stray. He was very frightened when he first arrived, but the social, dog socializers have been working with him and he really has come a long way. We think that he will make an excellent family pet. He will just need patience and love and that's actually all he needs. He um, is very sweet. He will walk well on a leash and he probably wouldn't be good around small children because he's a little bit nervous, but certainly old and kids should be fine. And then other cats and dogs, he would, uh, cats and other dogs, he would have to be introduced to. Um, but he, I mean, he should be fine. It just takes a little bit of time. But uh, he's a very, very sweet dog, very, very loving. And uh, he'd make a marvelous family pet. He's got this most gorgeous, gorgeous orange fur and such a sweet face. This is Peja. He is a three-year-old Staffordshire Bull Terrier, very handsome. He came from a home that didn't have a good fenced yard and he does need to run around, he needs some exercise. He's a loving boy, he bonds quickly and he is very good on the leash 
and he's a very good walker and actually he's pretty pretty calm he's just not really into other dogs and probably wouldn't be great around uh, cats or small children but he's a people dog so if you want a dog that's handsome and you want to take him out walking he's the dog for you it's a very nice nature mister he's very intelligent i think he's a good boy <laughs> After the break, we'll visit with more adoptable dogs and cats from the Humane Society of Sedona. Red Rose Inspiration for Animals is focused on saving abused, neglected, homeless animals. Dedicated to healing and rehabilitating canines who have suffered from emotional abuse, helping them become adoptable. The Sedona Arts and Craft Shows help promote talented artists and benefit animals in need. Support the vision of building a rehab center and animal sanctuary. 928-282-5278 Adventure Auto Glass is your locally owned auto glass replacement service with free mobile service to the Quad Cities, Sedona, and the Verde Valley. Adventure Auto Glass owner David Rittershaus is proud to support the Humane Society of Sedona and the Yavapai Humane Society with the Adventures with Animals program. Remember to mention Adventures with Animals when you call Adventure Auto Glass. Canine Country Club is where your pets go for vacation. Whether they need a place to stay for a few weeks or just camp time at daycare, our staff will make sure every individual animal's needs are met. Need the spa treatment? Grooming at Canine Country Club makes your dog look and feel better and they can stay the day for free. We'd be honored to take care of your animals. Come in for a guided tour today, 1461 East Cherry and Cottonwood, or call 639-1624, the Canine Country Club, where your pets go for vacation. This is our Fergus. Fergus came to us on October 26th as a stray. He's a three-year-old Border Collie mix. He's obviously got other stuff in him because he's larger than most Border Collies are. He's a high-energy kind of a dog. Um, he loves to run around and play. Uh, he would have to be introduced with other dogs. Some dogs he seems to be fine. We were walking him next to a dog yesterday and he was fine. Uh, but that would probably need an introduction. And if he was in a household with um, older children, just because of his high energy level and his size, that would probably be good. Um, he settles down. He's a real attention seeker. He loves people. He loves um, playing with people. He loves to be petted, as you can see. And he, um, he would just be a beautiful, beautiful boy. But he would need some exercise because he is a uh, high energy. So. He would have to go on some long walks and hikes. He'd be a great hiking dog. Or have a, um, have a fenced in yard, and the yard should probably have a pretty high fence because he is a big dog, and he could potentially get over a lower fence, so that wouldn't, uh, that wouldn't be right. But um, he, would, uh, he might not be good with cats, um, uh, but that could be you know, something we could introduce. And uh, he would just be really, really, I think, sweet in a home because I think he would settle down once he got out of, uh, out of the shelter here because he really does like to please people. So we're hoping that he will get a nice, a nice home with a family or an adult situation where he would get a lot of attention and love and he would return it in manifold. <laughs>
is our dynamic duo. This is Shadow and this is Sokka. They're both Labrador Retriever mixes. Um, Shadow is seven years old and Sokka is six years old and they came from the same home. It was a very sad story. The gentleman lost his home, kept them for as long as he could and then had to surrender them. So they've been here since the end of November. They're the sweetest two dogs on the planet. They don't mess with any other dogs. They walk right past kennels and don't bother with any dogs. If you can believe it, they're both walked together by the same walker because they are lovely on a walk. They don't pull. They have lived with children. We had them up at our Kids and Critters camp, and they were the highlight of the camp. The two of them played with the kids, and the kids loved on them, and they were just in seventh heaven. So they would make a loving, loving pair for any home that really wants to give two adorable boys a, chan a second chance. They, um, they would be probably good even with cats because they don't show any uh, prey instinct. And, uh, you know, this guy could lose a few pounds, but he's, he's in good health. And they are, they are just loving and sweet and, um, and would be great in a, in a family. They've never been on furniture, not allowed on furniture. They were kept outside a lot. Um, but if they're left alone for long periods of time, they could get bored and dig. So they shouldn't be left out, you know, for hours on end. They would be great if they were just, they come to our dog park and they walk around for about a half an hour and they have a great time. Uh, but they would be great in a home with a family and just show a lot of love and attention. And we're hoping that they'll go home soon. Well, this is Willow. Willow is a three and a half year old Australian Shepherd mix. And we call her our chunky monkey because she's got quite a girth on her. She could lose a few pounds. Uh, she's a very sweet girl. She really loves people. She loves attention. She is great with uh, a ball, playing with a ball. She'll run after it and bring it back to you and you can throw it again and then she'll, she'll go after it again. And she also loves our kitty pool. She's, she loves water. She'll jump in the pool and she'll roll around. She is a dog that would be good probably with a non-alpha male dog. She's actually kenneled right now with a four-year-old Staffordshire Terrier uh, that she gets along with really well. She probably would not be good with an alpha type dog or with a female. She's kind of jealous. She wants to be the only female. And um, she's okay to walk. She does pull a little bit, so you know she's very strong because her neck is, <laughs> is so thick. Um, but she could be trained to, do, to uh, walk better. And um, she'd be great with a family. I don't think she'd be good with cats. Um, that br the breed that she is probably has a little bit of a prey instinct, so cats probably would not be good. But she'd be great with children, um, and she'd be great with a, a family, and just running around and lying around and getting a lot of attention. So she's really a one of our sweet girls here. This is Pumba. She's come from an exceptionally good home. Her and her sister were brought to the shelter and they're well fed and they are just so well socialized. Really, really gentle and mellow disposition. She is five years old and she is a tabby, but she does have gold highlights, which makes her very, very pretty indeed. And um, she was brought to us because they had too many animals. Uh, she and her sister Ellie, um, very, very similar, probably, possibly twins, or certainly from the same litter, and Ellie has already been adopted. But she'd be suitable for any home because she's lived with dogs, cats, and children. So this will make a really superb, she will make a really superb family pet with so much um, wonderful history from her previous owners.
This is Ladybug. She's an eight month old Abyssinian kitten. She is very, very sweet, gentle, playful, loving, everything that you can possibly dream about in a, in, a, in a sweet cat. She has those qualities. She's purring right now. She loves being handled and she came to us as a stray. But who'd want to give up? Who'd want to lose such a beautiful cat like this? She's probably, possibly a pedigree. She certainly is an Abyssinian. She, I used to have an Abyssinian. She looks like a purebred to me, but we always say mix. But yeah, she would be suitable for any sort of home, simply because she's just so young and, and such a gentle personality. This is Blue. He's a one-year-old Russian Blue, hence his name, and he was found as a stray by a very nice lady who saw children stoning him with rocks. So um, she rescued him, brought him to the shelter, and it's very interesting because he does not appear to have um, any scars in his mind or body from that incident, unpleasant incident. He's actually very sweet, very mellow, and he would probably suit any sort of home. He seems very adaptable, um, and, and despite the fact that he was being ill-treated by children, I actually suspect he probably would get along with children very well, just because of his gentle demeanour. This is Cinnabon. He's one of the Siamese twins. We have two of these in the shelter at the moment. They're two years old. They came from a really, really nice family. Unfortunately, they were unable to afford the kitties anymore. But they are so mellow, they've clearly been loved. They're um, very, very soft and they really do like kids and people and they love being held. They're just very, very, very mellow. Um, they would make um, good pets for any household, any type of household. Um, preferably we'd like them to go together if possible. This is Jasper. He is one of our two Siamese twins. He has blue eyes and he's two years old. He's a little paler than his brother and he came from the same home, which was a very loving home with children. And he really has got the most mellow personality. Uh, he's a little bit smaller than his brother and he is just really soft and sweet and he would suit any sort of home. After the break, we'll visit with more adoptable dogs and cats from the Humane Society of Sedona. So, I'm kind of new here, but I've noticed a trend. My human does this funny thing where she goes around and gets all my toys, and then she hides them in that basket by the door. You know, but it's always the same basket, and it's always in the, in the same place. And then she acts so surprised when I find them, but, you know, she's putting them in the same basket. Again. It's like, hello? That's where you put it last time. You were the worst at hide-and-go-seek. Canine Country Club is where your pets go for vacation. 
Whether they need a place to stay for a few weeks or just camp time at daycare, our staff will make sure every individual animal's needs are met. Need the spa treatment? Grooming at Canine Country Club makes your dog look and feel better, and they can stay the day for free. We'd be honored to take care of your animals. Come in for a guided tour today, 1461 East Cherry and Cottonwood, or call 639-1624, the Canine Country Club, where your pets go for vacation. This is Midnight. He's a three-year-old black male kitty. He came to us as a stray, but because of his size, he's clearly been very, very well fed. He's only been with us a short time. Um, I, I, I think he's had very loving owners in the past, whoever they were. And I think he would make a superb family pet, probably with um, older children, possibly younger. He seems very mellow. Um, he might want to be the only cat because he's a large male and any introductions to uh, dogs would have to be done very carefully. So these large males don't always like other animals. Uh, they can be very good with kids though. And he's going to make a very loving, loving cat for some family. She's a four-year-old Torby Tabby. Tabby, really, but you know what makes her a Torby? Is she's actually got these little beautiful gold um, bits on her fur, which kind of makes her sort of like a half tortoiseshell. And she is a really sweet girl. She's actually very popular here in the shelter. She's a little bit nervous at first, um, but when she gets to know you, she really uh, does start to warm up. She ha is good with small dogs um, and she's good with other cats. So she actually lives with another cat here in the shelter. Not, not one that she came in with, but one that she's kind of adopted as her, as her partner for now. And um, she came as a stray to us, like so many of them do. And uh, she would make a superb family pet. Probably a little nervous around children. But uh, older kids and a family with, with uh, small dogs or, and other cats would be fine. This is Wasabi. He is a Siamese kitten of eight months old. He has beautiful blue eyes. He came to us because sadly his owner died. And um, so we're looking for a home, new home for him. He has lived with other cats. He's a little bit shy at first, but he is a very sweet boy. And he would make a superb family pet. He's just a gentle little soul. Yeah. After the break, we'll visit with the Adopt for Life Center for Animals. Red Rock Precision Motors is dedicated to quality repair, service, and regular maintenance for all makes and models, foreign and domestic. Voted best auto repair and best transmission four years in a row. Don't forget, trip checks are always free at Red Rock Precision Motors in Sedona. Dog visitors are always welcome. Rudy Veterinary Hospital in Cottonwood is your full-service companion animal hospital and has achieved AAHA accreditation. 
reflecting total commitment to provide quality veterinary care throughout the life of your pet. Verdi Vet provides comprehensive medical, surgical, and dental care and offers 24-hour emergency service and house calls. Heartworm testing, feline viral testing, and nail testing all available without an appointment. Verdi Veterinary Hospital. The Adopt for Life Center for Animals is located on Mingus Avenue in Cottonwood, open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 to 3. They offer many adoptable dogs and cats. Volunteers are always needed in local rescues and animal shelters. Ask to speak with the volunteer coordinator. Visit the Adopt for Life Center for Animals online or in person for more information about adopting a new pet. Okay, what we have here is blue. Blue is a blue nose pit mix. A uh, wonderful boy, he's very, very easy going, loves people, loves to take his walks, he's wonderful on the walks, he very seldom will pull, just kind of likes to walk along with you. He's uh, gentle, calm, which is kind of unusual for some pits, he settles down real easy, he's uh, easy to train, he learns quickly. But, you know, like all, bull, all pit bulls, he's got a, kind of a strong will to him, so you have to be the one in control. And uh, he's been with us for about six months now, which is hard for me to believe because he's such a beautiful dog. Everyone that sees him says the same thing. What a pretty dog. And he's as pretty on the inside as he is on the outside. Um, I think that um, Blue would get along with another dog. Um, probably not cats, but I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see on that. He um, um, doesn't show any aggression toward other dogs. He's kind of indifferent, actually, toward them. He kind of likes to go about his own life and, you know, just be with his human friends. And come here, get over here. And uh, I can't know. I don't know. Uh, where else to go with it? I mean, he's just a beautiful dog that um, you ought to come down, take a look at him, and uh, see what you think. This is Hyphy. Hyphy is a lab mix, black lab mix, probably mostly lab. He's uh, got all the characteristics and the temperament and the behavior of a lab. He amazes me that he's been here for six months and we don't have a lot of time to work and groom the dogs and yet this guy's hair is always so smooth and soft and shiny. He's got some good genes going on inside there. He's about two years old, I'm guessing. Um, he's been here for at least six months now. He was a pickup out on the road by animal control. I don't know why someone wouldn't have come and got him because he's really a good boy. Um, sometimes I call him hyper instead of hyphy because he is a very, very active dog. Um, when you first get him out on the cage for his walk, he's just crazy. And, um, but he calms down real quick, um, loves to go for his walks. I would say that it's important for Hyphy to have a yard to play in because he is, uh, as I say, a, a very active animal and needs a lot of exercise. If you don't have a yard, um, if you're a hiker, that would be great. Just you know, somewhere where he can get out and release some of that inner energy he has. Um, he gets along with most other animals here. There are a few that he doesn't care for. Um, we find it's kind of interesting if the other dog is black, he doesn't like it. I think he, he doesn't like the competition or something like that. But other, otherwise, he's not so bad. Um, as you see, he's a wonderful boy. And, just, yeah. and uh, I, I think he'd do well in most homes. I think he'd be great with children. Uh, most labs are, and then, as I say, he has all lab characteristics. Uh, he sees birds out there and he wants to 
wants to go get those birds and stuff. He's just fascinated by them. His ears perk up and he stands straight and erect and the tail goes straight out. And so he's got a lot of really, really good qualities. And uh, I think he'd enjoy them. And, and he would certainly enjoy to have a new home to live in. And that's Hyphy. After the break, we'll visit with more adoptable dogs and cats from the Adopt for Life Center for Animals. Adventure Auto Glass is your locally owned auto glass replacement service with free mobile service to the Quad Cities, Sedona, and the Verde Valley. Adventure Auto Glass owner David Rittershaus is proud to support the Humane Society of Sedona and the Yavapai Humane Society with the Adventures with Animals program. Remember to mention Adventures with Animals when you call Adventure Auto Glass. Verde Veterinary Hospital in Cottonwood is your full-service companion animal hospital and has achieved AAHA accreditation, reflecting total commitment to provide quality veterinary care throughout the life of your pet. Verde Vet provides comprehensive medical, surgical, and dental care and offers 24-hour emergency service and house calls. Heartworm testing, feline viral testing, and nail testing, all available without an appointment. Verde Veterinary Hospital. This beautiful girl is Roxanne. Uh, we call her Roxy, at least her close friends call her Roxy, and I include myself in that group. She is a two-year-old pit mix, um, probably 75, 80 pounds. She's a pretty good-sized girl, very, very strong. Um, she has been with us for about six months now. Um, she was abandoned down at Dead Horse Ranch by her owner. Roxy, sit, sit. And... Um, for whatever reason, he didn't want to come and get her. So we've ended up with her. It's our gain and his loss, I guess. Um, Roxy is a very sweet girl. Gets along real well with everybody. Everybody. And is a real lover. Loves to give kisses. She'll, if you get down on her level there, she'll put her front paws up on your shoulders and just lick you to death. That's her greeting card for you. She's playful. She will uh, play some ball. Uh, that doesn't mean that she's a golden retriever, that she'll run and get it and bring it back and drop it at your feet and wait for you to throw it again. But she will go and get it, and then she decides whether she wants to bring it back, whether she wants to play anymore or not. Um, I think Roxy would do really well in a family environment. Um, she would probably do very good with kids. I would, uh, the only thing would be, I'd say, older kids maybe. She's very, very good. I think she'll be real, real positive in a family environment. She likes her exercise, so a yard with a fence would be perfect for her so she can roam around in it. Um, she's very good on walks after the first couple minutes. For the first couple minutes, you're not taking her for a walk, she's taking you for a walk. Um, but other than that, she's really fine. Um, she doesn't have any bad habits that I know of, at least that I've seen in the six months, other, other than just loving people and just wanting to be around somebody. So uh, that's pretty much it for Roxy. She's a good girl, needs to find a home, been here too long. Okay, this is Dahlia. Dahlia is a sweet little yellow lab mix. Very, very well behaved. A very, very calm demeanor about her. She's about two years old. 
Um, Dahlia came to us from a pickup uh, wandering loose on, inter or on Highway 260. She was out there taking a stroll, didn't know where she was at, and so rather than have her getting killed, they brought her in here, and so she's been with us since, oh, January, I think, about two or three months now. As you see, she's very, very calm, very, very good girl. Gets along pretty well with everybody. Um, uh, she's excellent on her walks, no pulling whatsoever, just likes to get out and see what's going on around her. For the most part, she's indifferent toward other animals. Um, because of her calmness, my guess is that she would probably do well with a proper introduction with other pets in the home. She'd be a very, very good family dog. Again, as you can see, she is just so easy going, so kids could just curl up next to her and love her and let her lick, lick their faces like that, a little look in their faces. Always willing to give you kisses. Um, her activity level isn't as high as you think would, it would be the case with a yellow lab, um, but I th still think that a, a fenced yard would be the best bet for her so she can get out and explore a little bit and you know, kind of be free to roam as she liked to roam. Uh, I have not seen any real bad habits about her whatsoever. Um, uh, other than maybe at first she's a little bit shy. She, she's weary of do people on first greeting, which lasts maybe 15 seconds, and then she's your best friend. So it's not a big concern, but it's just something that you should know about that, you know, when you first come at her, if she looks like she's a little bit uncertain of you, just give her a second and then she'll be really fine after that. And that's the story on Dahlia. This guy is Rocky. Rocky is a two-year-old, kind of a hound, terrier, might even have a little bit of pit bull in him, don't know. Um, main thing is Rocky's been with us for a long time. He's been here for almost a year, so we need to find this guy a home. He is very, very good on walks. He's calm, likes to explore a little bit, likes to have his nose to the ground sniffing for things. Um, just like now, he's sniffing for anything he can find here. His demeanor is such that he'd be great with kids. He's very, very calm for the most part in terms of um, his aggressiveness. Um, he is an active dog, so I think that having him in a place where he's got a yard that he can run in would be probably the best thing for him. And in exchange for that, he'll make sure you don't have any critters in there because he's going to hunt and chase them out of there for you. Um, uh, this guy was um, brought to us by a lady. He was found running loose in the neighborhood and had been there for a day or so, so she picked him up and brought him in here. And can't believe no one didn't come and claim him. But their loss is our gain and could be your gain. So come on in and take a look at Rocky. This is Maya. She's a domestic, short-haired gray, about two years old. She was a young mom. Her and three kittens were abandoned in front of the shelter. She raised those, and now it's her turn. Yes, and you can't imagine why anyone would have ever abandoned you. She can be very playful. She can also growl if you rub her ears the wrong way. <laughs> She'd make a great addition as an only cat to anybody's home. This is Mr. Goobers. He's a long-haired gray tabby two, maybe three years old, uh, very playful, gets along great with other cats. He was actually surrendered 
to the shelter by a lady who lost her home, so consequently he's looking for a home. He does well with children and would be a great addition to anybody's home. After the break, we'll visit with more adoptable dogs and cats from the Adopt for Life Center for Animals. Red Rock Precision Motors is dedicated to quality repair, service, and regular maintenance for all makes and models, foreign and domestic. Voted best auto repair and best transmission four years in a row. Don't forget, trip checks are always free at Red Rock Precision Motors in Sedona. Dog visitors are always welcome. So, I just moved in with this family, and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born, and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this, for his sake. Red Rose Inspiration for Animals is focused on saving abused, neglected, homeless animals. Dedicated to healing and rehabilitating canines who have suffered from emotional abuse, helping them become adoptable. The Sedona Arts and Crafts Shows help promote talented artists and benefit animals in need. Support the vision of building a rehab center and animal sanctuary. 928-282-5278. This is Jeannie. She's about a year old. She came to us as a stray. She is very playful. She loves to play with balls. She will also chase a mouse, a laser mouse. She gets along well with other cats. And as you can tell, she also, when she feels like it, can be a great lap cat. And she would be just about perfect for any household that's looking for a cat that can both play and be a lap cat. Athena. She's about 10, 11 months old, domestic short hair. She came in as a stray, found wandering by Food City. She is highly playful. She plays until she drops. She gets along well with other cats. She's quite curious. She would do well in a household that has someone who likes to play. She, she would, loves attention and she's waiting for just the right person to come take her home and play. And she can also purr when she chooses. <laughs> This is Papa Blue. He is a male, neutered, about three years old. He uh, came to us. He was abandoned by his former parents, brought in by a neighbor. Um, he would need an introduction to other cats, dogs, kids. He gets along well 
one-on-one, -on -one, as you can tell. He would be an excellent lap or couch cat because he's and a little bit older, and he, does, he loves to play, he, and this is all muscle too, none, no fat, right? Nope, none at all. He's very athletic for his size, and as, as far as a forever family, he would be ready to go home today, would you? Yes. <laughs> This is Sweet Potato. She's female, eight, nine months old. She came to us abandoned. Her and two of her siblings were found in the engine compartment of a car. Although it was a relatively bad start, she has adopted really well and she loves playing. She loves other cats. She would do well in a household where someone could give her lots and lots of attention and she's eternally curious. She needs to always see everything that's going on. And did I mention she also purrs up a storm? This is Marty. He is an orange tabby, short hair, about a year and a half old. He came to us as a stray. He is very playful. Right now he would love to get down and play with the other kitties, but he is a lover. He's very, very friendly. He will climb anywhere that he can, which is pretty much anywhere. He does well with other cats. And as you can see, he likes playing, and he is fearless, even with a mouse almost his size. <laughs> about two, two and a half years old, came in as a stray. He's a neutered male, gray, short hair. However, one of his best features may not be readily apparent, but he has these beautiful white paws. And BB is very friendly, very easygoing. He would be equally happy to be a lap cat. He would do well in a home with other cats. He loves to play and he's quite even-tempered. He would have to be introduced to dogs, and he would be ready to go home with you right now. shelter. It's very friendly, very playful. Uh, black cats always look clean and their teeth are always white. And again, Treaty would love to go home and meet your family. All animals leaving the Adopt for Life Center for Animals are given rabies vaccinations that are spayed or neutered. If the animal's not old enough, vouchers will be given to the adopted family. 
Visit the Adopt for Life Center for Animals on Mingus Avenue in Cottonwood to visit with any of the animals seen on this program. More pets are waiting for new homes at the Adopt for Life Center for Animals. 